Let me show you how to make one of my go-to dishes. This is Gravlox, so simple, so delicious, and always impresses. I got this dish from my brother-in-law, Chris Kidder, who's a super chef. He, they used to make this dish when he was chef de cuisine at Campanile in LA. Unless there's something I've caught myself, I usually use frozen wild sockeye from the grocery store. Dill is really what makes this dish. You want two cups of chopped fresh dill. It's a quarter cup of coarse ground pepper, and I like to keep it really coarse. There's two tablespoons of salt. I usually use kosher salt and two tablespoons of sugar. Today I use brown sugar. I've used white sugar in the past too. They both seem to work great. So first I'm just going to coarsely chop the dill. I use my coffee grinder to coarsely grind the pepper and I like to keep it pretty coarse. Um, salt and sugar, I just measure out of my hand about two tablespoons. So once I have the ingredients together, I put a, a layer on the bottom of the baking sheet, put one filet down, put 75% of the curing mix in between the two fillets, the other half of the fillet on top, and cover that with the remainder of the cure. So one trick I've learned over time is I use two baking sheets or baking pans that are the same size. So the salmon goes into the bottom pan, put all the ingredients in, and then I put another pan of the same size on top, and that allows me to put weight on top of that second pan and get an even pressure on the whole thing. After three days, lightly rinse the remainder of the cure off the surface of the salmon. Use as little water as possible. You don't want to waterlog it, but clean it up. You don't have to get everything off the surface. So after you've lightly rinsed it, pat it dry. I like to use a dish towel. You can also use paper towels if that's your thing. Slicing these Gravlox is a knife challenge. They do not like to slice easily. So you wanna use your sharpest knife. The longer the blade, the better, because you can cut it in all in one slicing motion. I will say to our petty knife, because it has an extra thin blade, is also good for this task. Um, so the appetizer I, I usually make with these Gravlox is, I'll make a pan fried crostini. Usually I like to make creme fraiche on top of that. It's just so easy. You take a pint of heavy cream and a couple tablespoons. In this case, I used yogurt because we have it always. Shake it up, put it in a warm spot, eight to 24 hours if it's warm. You know, I could look it up on the internet. I don't even know what the difference is between Gravlox and Lox. I don't know if it's just slang, but this dish compared to what I think of as Lox, because of the pepper and the dill is just, it's spicier, it's, much more flavorful than kind of a traditional bagel store lock that I think of.